Welcome to Japan, home of the Thai burger. If you want to see an American food made by a Japanese company in Thai style, you've come to the right place. So I was boosting around the mean streets of downtown Tokyo when I saw a buck wild sunset going down. Something about seeing that blazing orb fall beneath the horizon must have awakened some kind of animalistic urge because suddenly my hunger went berserk. So I sprinted on over to the closest freshness burger like a hunger crazed beast from the wild. I saw a poster that said Thai food fair and I damn near lost my mind. I mean, not only do we have a Gapa O Thai style burger, but we've also got a green curry soup, we've got Singha beer, and what else we got over here? Can't see the whole poster because someone put a chair in the way, so I guess I'll jam my camera through that fucking chair, and what do we have here? Apparently, that's some kind of shrimp and vermicelli salad. Anyway, long story short, I ordered the full Monty in this bitch. So let's take a closer look at this green curry soup. Personally, I think it's looking savory as hell and oishi as fuck. Next up, let's check out that shrimp salad. Just gotta pop that top off and wow, it's one fresh fucking shrimp salad right there. Holy shit. My mouth's starting to salivate like a wild man over here. Now this thing, I think it's supposed to be some kind of iced chai or something. I don't know the exact details, but it looks pretty fucking nice. And now let's scope out the main course, little thing I like to call a Gapa-O burger. Mind you, I don't exactly know what the hell a Gapa-O is, but one thing's for damn sure, that's one nice fucking burger right there. That bad boy is looking zesty to the max. And last but not least, we've got a Singha Thai beer to wash this whole feast down. So I poured out that Singha beer and got ready to feed my face in style. Now I happen to like me a good Singha, I mean I know it ain't a craft beer, but I think it's a nice fucking beer anyway. So I moved on over to that green curry soup. So I jammed a few spoonfuls of that soup down my throat and I was kinda surprised. I guess this really is like a soup, I mean it's kind of watery like a soup with a slight green curry flavor. It kind of tastes like roasted red pepper mixed with green curry and I gotta say I've never had anything quite like it. It has a nice spiciness level to it and has a nice flavor. It took me a little while to get used to that soup, but after some time I started to like it a lot, I started to like it a real fucking lot. So I slammed back some Singha and got prepared to try the next food. I think I'll go for that shrimp salad next. So I squeezed out some lime on that bad boy, forked me a shrimp, and whoa, 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 had a fucking piece of lettuce flying all over the side there. That shrimp tasted normal, nothing particularly buck wild about it. Next up I got me a bite of some lettuce and cabbage. Looks like there's also some cilantro in that salad and come to think of it, I don't see any vermicelli in this salad yet. So I dug around in there like a fucking madman and came across only two or three small noodles at best. Seems to me like the saddest vermicelli salad I ever did see, so I moved on over to something more exciting. That's right baby, you know what time it is, it's time for me to try out this buck wild Thai burger. So let's take a look under the hood. It looks to me like we've got a bun toasted to perfection, we've got diced tomatoes, onions, cilantro, we've even got an egg with some Thai sauce on that bitch. And underneath that egg with sauce, we've got some kind of patty of sorts. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that's chicken mixed with some herb and spice action. That's one sick ass burger right there, I've never seen such a thing before. This burger's getting me borderline aroused over here, so I'm fixing to get a good grip on that burger and take a bite. So I bit down on that burger and started chewing away, and wow, just wow. I started getting an influx of all kinds of flavors in my mouth, all different kinds. Seemed pretty damn nice, but I was still on the outer rim of that burger, so I had to venture inland to verify the flavor. I mean, what we got here is a nice meaty burger with a sick ass egg, we've got a herbal taste popping off, and some sweetness action. 
To top it all off, we've got a subtle spicy bite and some fresh coriander zest. I mean, I gotta admit, at first I thought eating a Thai burger would be a tad risky, but now that I took a bite, I'm feeling frisky. The only criticism I have is that that bun tastes a tad strange to me. It's not necessarily bad, but I taste something in it. It kind of reminds me of potato bread that I had when I was a child. Nonetheless, overall, I gotta say that was a nice fucking burger right there. I never thought that American food made by a Japanese company in Thai style could be so life-changing. So I polished off that burger and washed it down with some beer and suddenly I realized I forgot all about that iced chai. The ice is all melted now and it's looking a tad watery but I best be trying it out anyway. I paid for it so now I gotta drink it baby. So I got some of that chai sloshing around in my mouth, but it wasn't quite so special. To be honest, it tasted like glorified sugar water. What the hell does chai have to do with Thailand anyway? Correct me if I'm wrong, but last time I checked, chai was an Indian thing. Anyway, I don't know if it's because I got the full Monty, but the Burger Maestro gave me a choice of Thai-themed postcards to choose from. So I chose me a nice scene of a Thai floating market, and I gotta say, that's a nice fucking postcard right there. So after I took a good look at that postcard, I was feeling real satisfied, and I decided to hightail it the hell out of that burger joint. So thanks for watching this video. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.